Hey, my narcissistic abuse family. I have, this is the first time I have been alone since March. I'm not kidding. My kids are at a sleepover. My husband went grocery shopping. I almost don't know what to do with myself, but I'm super excited. I feel very focused and not distracted. So the topic that I'm covering today is, I thought about this and I was like, I should absolutely put this out there because you're not alone. When I was involved with a narc, my ex, it was like 15 years ago now. I was an entirely different person. And if you have been involved in a relationship with a narcissist, no doubt you look back at yourself and you cringe because that's not you. And they absolutely morph you into exactly what they want you to be, which is like they brainwash you, they make you tolerate all their crap, like just characteristics that you would never attribute to yourself. So when I was with this creep, I was 20, just turned 21. So he was like 10 years my senior. He was 10 years older than me. So talk about a great opportunity, me coming from a narcissistic, toxic as hell, dysfunctional upbringing. I was like, perfect material for him. So he swooped right in and capitalized off of my daddy issues and everything else. So this guy made me, he just absolutely steadily degraded me. He dismantled my confidence, my self-assurance, everything that I knew to be, he basically turned upside down. So I, I had met my husband in college and he genuinely, really authentically loved me. And we were in a serious committed relationship. I broke up with him because I joined my sorority and neither here nor there, but basically I was so messed up from this awful upbringing that I really had no con conception of what true unconditional love was so when joe was loving me in that way in that like i couldn't be vulnerable i couldn't accept it i couldn't give it i was totally screwed up basically so i broke up with joe and i ended up with jerks so the narc was like the second in line i guess after joe and i broke up but, oh, you guys, I think back to the way that I was with him, and I'm so mortified. I was basically borderline obsessed with him because, you know, narcissists elevate themselves in such a way that they are to be revered, right? Their grandiose persona is an elaborate defense mechanism to protect their fragile egos at the core. So this guy, you know, larger than life, like big, bougie type of presentation. And he was taking me on vacations and stuff. And all the while I was bolstering his ego because I was young and cute. And he loved having me as arm candy. And he thought he was like the big man because he was taking me on trips and doing things like that where it basically made him look like the hero. And then I was diagnosed with MS and just snowballed. Like he was such a hero because he was my partner right and he was helping me through this which couldn't have been farther from the truth he was stressing me out so much I was drinking like a fish every weekend because this idiot mind you 10 years my senior I was like 21 so he was like in his young 30s going out just getting 
inebriated drunk every weekend, a terrible thing to do if you're diagnosed with MS. But nonetheless, I did that because I was trying to make him happy, have a good time. So he didn't genuinely care about me. He cared about the way he looked and, you know, we were having so much fun and he, oh, I have to get, gather myself here. So he was cheating on me, undoubtedly. Like, I never caught him doing it, but all the signs were there. It was as plain as day, as obvious as it could have been. And, you know, I consider myself a pretty intelligent person, emotionally intelligent as well, but I ignored it because I idolized him sort of in like a twisted way. I thought he was like the best thing since sliced bread. And that's how he conditioned me to be in this relationship, in this toxic dynamic. He was always pushing me down, pushing me down to elevate himself. And narcissists will most of the time do that because if you are someone that, that they like to align themselves with people that they see as desirable or someone that they would like to essentially kind of they would like to be the all the things that you exude that you stand for so I was young I was confident I was attractive I was intelligent I was getting my degree and I had plenty of friends and he saw that and he was like, okay, so he aligned with me and then proceeded to take me down. So when narcissists do that, it gives them this sadistic and twisted satisfaction that they're ruining you because they're ruined at their core with their trauma or whatever has led them to this disordered state. And they feel that by targeting someone that is generally um has the potential to be a healthy person they just want to take you down and steamroll you every opportunity that they can and he did this over the course of I guess it was about four years four years and he was constantly breaking up with me making up make up break up make up break and you in the process of doing that, you actually get addicted to this, but you get addicted to this narcissist. Did a video about that also, but it screws with your head in the worst way. And you feel like you rely on them, that you somehow can't live without them. They just raise their stock through the roof by treating you so poorly. And you know the way it goes when you can't have something, you want it that much more intently. So by him breaking up with me all the time, I was like, what did I do? What can I do to, you know, get back in his good graces to fix this situation? And mind you, all the while it was him treating me terribly and doing disrespectful, horrible things that no decent person in a consensual relationship should ever do. But again, I was on the defensive because he kept breaking up with me. And then it was like, whenever we reconciled, got back together, I would be like, oh, everything was right in the world. You know, it's like, it's almost like a high. You're exuberant and happy because you go back to what you were accustomed to which is dysfunction and chaos and a terrible dynamic. So you guys, if you're in a relationship with a narcissist or you were and you broke up, whatever, and you're just embarrassed about the way that you behaved, conducted yourself, all the crap you dealt with, don't be ashamed of it. It's part of their disorder and they sucked you into this horrible abuse and it's like the fable about the frog and I love this one 
It's when a frog is put in boiling water, it will immediately jump out and save itself because it knows, you know, I'm not going to, I'm going to die in here. Let me get out. Let me save myself. But when a frog is put in lukewarm water and the temperature is slowly raised, the frog stays in there and gets boiled to death because doesn't notice the difference. And that's what happens when you're in a relationship with a narcissist. You just, you buckle down and, or you bear down and you tolerate it because they condition you to be, you know, at their whim. And that's absolutely what happened to me. And coming from a narcissistic home, you're like perfectly groomed to be great bait for these jerks. So anyway, that's all I wanted to get out there. I think back to this relation relationship and I'm just mortified, embarrassed, and oh, all I cared about was him. He was like on a pedestal. Anyway, you guys, please like, please subscribe. That would be awesome. And drop me a comment. Tell me what you want to hear more of, less of. Um, we're bumped and we're bruised, but more than anything, we are blessed because we're learning about and overcoming this terrible dynamic. We're better people for it. All right. I love you all. Thank you for watching. I hope you took away some validation, some useful information here, and I'll be back soon. I love you all. Bye.